Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious gnocchi with a pumpkin sauce. Zara Abdullah is one of many creatives who've made a name for themselves in Dubai. You have a little studio. <laughs> is the kitchen always in studio, lights, camera, action? Pretty much, pretty much. In 2020, nice she was one of 70,000 people working in the city's creative field, a number Dubai wants to double by 2025 as part of a new strategy designed to diversify its economy. The ultimate goal for Dubai is to create this pool of talent, make sure that this talent is, is educated, has everything that it requires to run its business, and then this transforms into healthy businesses that in the future will actually contribute positively to our economy. The creative economy is one of the world's fastest growing sectors. In 2022, the United Nations reported that it accounts for 3.1% of global GDP. Recognizing this potential, Dubai's new policy introduced a special cultural golden visa to grant those like Zara long-term residency to cultivate their careers in the Emirates. The golden visa allows you security. It allows you to stay within the city for 10 years. It ensures sustainability for your business. I always felt like this is a transitionary city. And after we got the golden visa, I truly feel that Dubai is home. To replicate that feeling of home for those abroad, this new scheme also helps establish new hubs to entice foreign talent and investment. The industrial area of Al Quds, for example, is being revamped. When we create a platform like Algoa's Creative Zone, that allows people to come and create. It allows for jobs in the manufacturing sector. One entrepreneur drawn in by this growing artistic community is Kwame Minta. As the co-founder of FEA Gallery in al -Quz, he sees firsthand how the city's action plan is changing the world's perception of Dubai. It's like a vehicle. So the gallery acts as a vehicle between artists and the creative economy here in Dubai. When an artist wants to become international, previously the only thought was to go to Europe or to go to America. But now the Middle East has really opened up its areas and its landscape as a destination artists want to exhibit in. As the city works to raise its creative sector's GDP contribution to 5% by 2025, Dubai-based creators like Zara can only benefit from the policies turning the Emirate into an international hub for creativity. It's giving us the space to thrive and feel like you are part of the tapestry. It's really exciting to see everyone celebrated, from the doctors and the lawyers and the entrepreneurs to the students and the artists and the people who traditionally wouldn't have been celebrated in this part of the world.